Kyure nara. Can't escape from crossing fate. Klim off to a slightly better start, but he's going to get caught up by the Hazama of Alexander, and it's not going to convert into too much. Alexander doing a cat, or sorry, Klim doing a good job now to be able to get in on this and really taking a good chunk of damage. I think he did the full combo. There's a little bit of a, there's a small link that you gotta do. I think he pulled it off. Let's mix up. Oh, just goes for the quick jab. Alexander gonna eat that one up, but he's not gonna take too much damage as Klim drops it early. Catches Azama and goes for an overhead. An interesting call. Must have been a misinput. Alexander now retreating to the air where he succeeds, but or where he drives, but the overhead from Aurier gonna catch him off the push block. And he's gonna get caught up in the air again. Klim looking way better after this uh, slight reset that happened. Alexander, dead. The DHC raid after will seal it out, and this is a rough one. Game one of this loser's quarters set. Going over to Klim, Alexander looked insanely strong in the first game one. We'll see if he can move this forward from here, you know, kind of kind of walk past that little incident, but at the moment, not looking right. Gets in, but no, not entirely. That chain not connecting the way he thought it did and costs him a little bit of health. Does connect properly, <laughs> properly that time. It's a grab immediately. Swings him into the corner, jump up, no! A little bit of a misinput there, not, uh, not continuing that combo how he can. Alexander looking worse for wear as this Hazama wears on. Good burst, catching it right at the time where uh, Klim should be calling his assist, and Adam completely read there. Good to be. No, does not extend it into much more. Misses the command grab, it's gonna be a little bit costly as that more damage that should've been for him and the knockdown is uh, transferring into a lot of damage for Klim. Put onto the back foot though, Klim in the corner, mix up, just goes for the ra uh, regular jab. Could have DP'd it, but it's a bold call in case Klim decides to block. Ooh, Alexander getting eaten up by, uh, by the U. Zama got out of there fairly safely, but Gordo can't say the same about him. Klim trying to find a way in, goes for the EX, and Alexander, Looking solid now. Yeah, goes into residence. Good call. Tried to find a safe spot to do it. Pazama can really benefit from this. Throwing out that those long combos off of uh, off of the kick. Good call to not do the kick there. Pazama looks like a looks like a Fexel character when he's got a when he's got all of his his beat, uh, he's got all of his meter to work with. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having a hell of a time talking right now. Caught up by that super, gonna be put into a bit of a mix-up situation. Immediate push block, and Alexander trying to find a way through. Does find it there on the slight kick, and oof, he's swinging his way through, but it's just not going for him. Is he blocking? No, he was putting out a chain. Good DP. Life totals are virtually even. Meter in favor of Alexander. He's gonna get caught up again. It's giving Klim the lead, but it's not giving him too much, and he's dead. Alexander going to tie this up at one apiece. Klim was doing a good job of just throwing out that super to catch him way up there. Um, but it doesn't give the kind of mileage that burning two bars should, should grant you. So, might need to find a different way to deal with, with Hazaba way up there. So I want to deal with the damn near cross up that, that comes from that chain, but... As it is, we are moving into the third game, and Alexander gonna extend this combo with that chain. He's doing a good job getting himself over there. Solid grab, no, no conversion. Seems to, after he's released, after his arm is released, if you just mash light as Narukami, it'll hit. Oh no, sorry, after he hits peak, like the, the apex of the throw. Zalit doing a good bit of work here against Klim. Doesn't fully get in, and the overhead gonna be caught out. 
Alexander. Eats the damage. Eats the lunge, but that weird assist call. Not going to entirely pay off for Klim, and he ends up crossing over on that DP. Crosses, no, does not cross over again. Going to get caught up, and he's going to eat as much as Klim wants, and apparently not as much as Klim wants. My mistake is he drops that one early. Alexander in a good spot, though, right now. Hazala still in the back, regening that health. Throws out another DP. These are not connecting. Alexander is either missing a push block, and Klim is uh, dropping his, his uh, pressure, or he's getting very trigger-happy. Klim going to lose. No, he's not going to lose the Orie. Immediate switch over to Narukami, though. Not wanting to risk losing the Orie that early. Actually, it's not very early. That would have been a, a fair time to lose it. Narukami, no, going to miss. Doesn't matter too much in the end. Switches over. No, he doesn't switch sides. I got hit. Good super. Caught Gordo the entire way. Klim has the ability to spend this bar, spend his bar like this, and it's fairly safe. Switches over to the Gordo. Probably a good call. Doesn't want to give Klim all of these essentially free opportunities to toss supers. Immediately uses Resonance himself, trying to regen a little bit of health. Puts himself up in the air, not throwing out chains. Klim has conditioned him to not swing, and he's going to get caught up here. This could go the distance, and it will go a fair distance, but it's not going to kill. Needs to find one way through. Two bars on Klim. Five still sitting on Alexander, and he wasn't able to convert off that one. Oh, he just got to the ground. And Alexander able to push this one to 2-1 in his favor. Klim, though, not out of it by any stretch. He has looked solid in his past few games. He just needs to find that little bit more, and that little bit more is proper punishes in my, in my mind. In my mind, it's proper punishes on Hazama jumping super high in the air. Whether that's just doing a raw DP to prevent the damage or his opportunity for a block string, whether it's taking more damage on his opportunities, it, if that's what it really is, but I, I think it's I think it's stopping all these chains when he does decide to commit in and just go for a block string. Like that. Like that. Challenging th like that in the air with his lights is what Klim needs to do. And so far it is working. It is paying dividends and he's actually already killed the Hazama. Klim is airing through right now, and I think he's working on actually a perfect if he'd switch off of, uh, if he'd switch off of Narugami. Which he will do here. No, he could have supered. I think. He's dead. He's not dead. You should switch, though. You should really switch and get that perfect. Switch. Get the perfect. Ah! No. Alright, Alexander not out. But definitely down. Mm, and now he's down and out. 2 2 immediately from Klim, putting this into a game five scenario. Solid, solid strikes on the side of Klim. He found whatever he needed to do and pushed it to the nth, nth degree. My static -y again. Is that why we only have 10 viewers? If someone could tell me if my mic sounds like garbage, let me know. Because the last time I was commentating here, my mic just started sounding like garbage because it was a little too close to my face. Alexander getting caught up in a long combo, but oof, bursted on and not uh, not falling into his favor as it should. Klim getting caught up. No, not the right assist. Alexander in a rough spot. Klim sitting on so much health on this Narukami. Oh, no, and it's not going to reach just too far. Although he's going to get some damage here. Pulls him up, pulls him in. Klim not bursting for some reason. Oh, oh, because he was at zero meter. Yeah, good reason to not burst. Going to eat a fair bit of damage here. Going to be another, what, 6k? Oh, no, no, five half. My bad, guess he started differently. Caught up on that lunge. The assist to extend it, and Alexander, yeah, going to have to burst. Didn't want to lose the Gordo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You don't want to lose the Hazama. This is your guy. I say that Gordo sticks any team together, but Hazama is just such a solo monster. Being able to play from range, being able to combo from distance, and he's, yeah, going to spend burst to lose the Gordo. Uh, oh, no, he's not going to lose the Gordo quite yet. He has opportunities, tries to do the overhead. No pressure from Klim, and the DP going to get called out there, I think. 
that was another attempt at a push block that Klim just dropped his his uh, block string on. Ooh, EX not gonna catch there. Alexander needs to find just one opening and he's able to tear down this Aurier. But he's actually just gonna lose the entirety of his residence. Not really getting spend it. Alexander gonna get caught up in a combo here. Three bars sitting on the side of Klim. Extends it into the super. Not gonna kill though. Alexander can still push this. He can still play from range. He just needs to, oh, okay. Good opening. He needs to play slow. Only got, jeez. If 3,000 damage isn't playing slow, I don't know what is. Oh, and he only got 15 or 16 off that one. He's trying to find a way in. He's taking it fairly patiently, and he's going to get caught by the Zeo. It's going to cost him. Klim moves on into a loser's semis match against someone.